I thank you for inviting me here today to join you as we observe the centennial commemoration of the Armenian Genocide here in the State House. I want you to know as your governor, I stand proudly with the Armenian American community on this issue. I want to see a show of hands on who thinks they're going to carry the trophy at the end of the year. <laughs> Jeez, you got a lot of people out there who think they're going to end up number one. And that's the best part about opening day. All dreams can come true on opening day, boys and girls. And that's part of what makes it so special. Today, during the final days of Sexual Assault Month, I'm pleased to sign an executive order aimed at helping individuals and children live a, free, a life free of sexual assault and domestic violence. Our charge is to improve prevention, enhance support, and demand accountability for perpetrators to ensure that they can no longer hurt others. So, my name is Rebecca, um, I'm 21 years old, I've been in recovery since October 1st, 2012. I started with prescription opiates and it led to heroin very quickly and that's the same story for almost everyone that I know that's in recovery. Reducing the overdoses and mortality that come from those overdoses, reducing the actual substance use disorder, the abuse um, of these. These are our core goals. This issue doesn't care about geography, it doesn't care about race, it doesn't care about class, it doesn't care about income. Um, and, um, and it's something that, uh, whether you're talking prevention, education, interdiction, treatment, we have much to do.